Jab them in their sleep. That's what Rodrigo Duarte thinks. He's actually said it. This is absolutely mind-blowing. And I know this isn't uh, coming out of the United States, but nonetheless, I think it's something that we really need to bring light to. So let me go ahead and bring the article up and show you what I'm talking about. I'll link it in the description of the video. As it says, jab them in their sleep. Philippines Duarte proposes new way of tackling vaccine hesitancy. The article says Filipino ninja doctors may soon be sneaking into homes of COVID-19 vaccine refuse necks is what they're calling them to inject them in their sleep. At least that's the idea proposed by the country's trigger happy president. The unorthodox approach to boosting vaccination rates was touted by Rodrigo Duarte during his latest Talk to the People address on Monday. I know many people are still hesitant, the president said, as quoted by local media. The president added that he was, all, uh, was ready to personally lead the nocturnal immunization raids. Um, and, and what he said is actually above that. He said, so find them in your barangays, neighborhoods. Let's enter their houses and vaccinate them while they're asleep, while they are asleep. End of story. Now, that's his words. The suggestion, which was hopefully a joke, came as the Philippines president was trying to convince the public to take the vaccine. On the same program, Duarte took personal responsibility for his government's failure to secure enough doses for a swifter vaccine rollout earlier this year, but noted that even a limited campaign had reduced the spread of the disease. The Pacific Island nation started its COVID-19 immunization program in March using China's Sinovac vaccine. Duarte had earlier blamed rich nations for hoarding available doses and leaving countries like the Philippines behind. The outgoing president is no stranger to using harsh methods to deal with various issues. He infamously introduced a violent police crackdown on drug crimes, which critics say amounted to mass extrajudicial killings. Earlier this month, the Justice Department said 154 cops involved in the war on drugs may face criminal charges for overstepping their authority. The International Criminal Court, which is conducting its own investigation, says the scale of of alleged police crimes was much higher with the number of victims numbered in the tens of thousands. Duarte has previously suggested a strong-arm approach to vaccine refuse necks. In June, he said those who won't take the jab should leave the country or be jailed and jabbed by force. I'll have you arrested and then I'll inject a vaccine into your buttocks, he warned at the time. So, and again, YouTube, I'm just reading the article. This is, uh, this is crazy. This is, this is absolutely crazy. And, and I, I just fail to understand. I, I really fail to understand it. Anyway, hope you have a good day. Shalom.